All right, we're rained out, trying to do some improvements on this thing. It's starting to crack around, and it, I'm, this ain't the first time it's cracked, but took the gouger, there's a crack running right down through here. There's a crack running right through here, and I think that's coming from these blocks that's banging on here when we're closing and opening. I think that's what that's from. Taters already welded this one up once before, and over here. Them fingers over there seem to be doing pretty good, but these over here has been a battle. The little two-tongers. Check out this crack. That's a pretty good size hole in there. And then that crack runs all the way up through to there. Probably a 10 to 12 inch crack. There's another one down here that's running all along. And I broke this tong off when I first started running the den den. And I just tore it off. So Tater, of course we welded it back on and get through for a while until we got down at the mill. But Tater took some half inch plate and cut it out and laid it down inside there and welded that sucker in. This is what it used to look like. It used to be just a channel in there and it wasn't strong enough on them two finger side because it got so much pressure on them. So we welded the plate on here, welded the plate in there, one here, and one down here. We think we've got that solved now as far as wanting to tear off. Then it started cracking in here. We filled all that in with weld. And now we're starting to get some pressure out here off of the fingers that's becoming an issue. So I'm gonna fill that back in with weld, gimp through again for the time being, but I just talked to Tater and he's wanting to maybe take a quarter inch sheet and lay in here like this kind of turn it all one piece and feather it up into these fingers it'll help protect that it'll beef up this it's just a hollow drum and it's thin it's probably only three sixteenths if that and just beef it up some it started busting back here on me the other day in between the fingers instead of cracking in here now it's wanting to crack out here and it was cracked all the way through on there so it cut me out some 3 16 gussets and welded them across to help strengthen up some of this just beefing it up she takes a pretty hard beating when you move 15 to 20 loads a day with it it beats on it pretty good but i'm gonna get off here and weld that in and i'll come back and see what it looks like when i'm done all right i'll be the first person to tell you that i'm no welder so uh everybody wants to pick on me for my weld go ahead and pick away because I done told you I ain't no welder don't work for uh, just getting by I didn't get the slag knocked off we ain't got a slag hammer here with us out in the woods uh, it's at the shop I was using a claw hammer on this over here and it worked out pretty good it's a pretty good size hole every time I got the burning in there that sucker just kept on a growing but I think that'll work good enough for who it's for get the light right on that that was that long crack that was about a foot long probably went over here and turned up and ran along down the edge of there and then started going up that corner this the tongs i think is going to be all right now but that plate there is just weak it's thin real thin tater come up with a pretty good idea of laying that sheet i don't know if he's wanting to go from the tip or start about middle ways then the tongs is already beefed up, it, hell, we could probably start them about at an angle right down through there like that. And run up through, catch all this here in there, and then taper back up, and then run up in that finger. Because that back side of one of these fingers that actually busted out. Let me see if I can find it. Here he is. I think this here was my problem too, or my fault. Duh. I'm going to blame it on everybody else but myself. But that plate there, Tater had to cut that out and then it went up, stopped there, and then he, he actually wrapped it around the back side of that tongue a little bit, trying to brace this up because it was starting to bust out on the back side of this seam here from uh, the joint on the back side of here. It was starting to crack down through, but that there is holding up pretty good now. And I don't know if he done the other side or not. I want to say there was two of them like that. I don't know, but I can't remember. No, this one here wasn't. It was just that other one. Yep, that other side there is good too. 
just uh got to stay on top of it and there's a modified hinge that we had made. I think that's out of a hydraulic fitting. The door back here, the hinge for the door, it busted off because it beating and banging around in the woods all the time. But my little fingers that I weld on, I was already digging around in the brush wall go, and I was figuring that that there's gonna get knocked off, but they're on there pretty good. See how long they last, I guess. All right, I'm getting a load of logs and I'm getting out of here.